Yo, what is up, YouTube? We are back on the Madden 15, and today, Wednesday, we got some new Final Edition players. Now, this week's Final Edition set gives you a 96 overall Devin McCourty. Should be a great coverage safety. We'll check his stats out later. First things first, man, gotta see who goes into the set. Golden Tate, Michael Kendricks, Leon Hall, and Damon Harrison. Michael Kendricks, man, he's going to the playoff card. I'm playing with it with the budget squad, and he can't catch, so hopefully, this one can catch. Let's check this bad boy out. Always great speed, though. Great coverage linebacker. I think this guy used to be a dancer or a practice ballet when he was younger, but he was a very agile, very athletic player. 5'11", 92 speed, of course. 88 play break, 91 tackle, 87 block shed, and 93 pursuit. Final edition. Finished first on the team in tackles and second in tackles for loss and fumbles force. Now, once again, it's all about the catching. Can this from the catching? Ooh, okay. The catch went up a 71 catch rating. Above average for linebackers, not too bad. Now, last year, he also had a little bit of hit power, too, in Madden 25. And right, 94 hit power, not that bad, man. He's a short guy, though. The only thing really holding him back is his height, but 94 hit power, 70 catch, very good for a middle linebacker, and 92 speed. Going for a bit much right now. Going for, what, 60K? Price, price will eventually drop, but once again, a very, very good linebacker. Next up, we got Golden Tate, 92 overall wide receiver. This guy had a great year. Opposite of Calvin Johnson, man. Some people say he's, what, top 15 receiver this year. He really put up some big numbers this year. Car looks good, too. 95 speed jumping out at me. First thing I see, 97 elusiveness, 86 route running, and 80 release. Final addition led the Lions in receptions, targets, and receiving yards while also scoring four touchdowns. So this year he was the leading receiver on the Lions. That's crazy. Small guy, though, at 5'10", but great speed, great elusiveness. Even a 96 spectacular catch, 92 catch in traffic. Release isn't that great, but definitely, definitely some bright spots on his car, man. Next up, we got Leon Hall, and I like this guy. Never the fastest cornerback, but in real life, he has great ball skills. Really good at getting picks, especially on comebacks and curl routes. Plays the ball really well. Check the stats out. 5'11", 93 speed, 88 man, 94 zone, 89 agility, 92 press, and 88 play rank. Final edition. Allowed only three touchdowns all season while breaking up nine passes and grabbing one pick. All right, this season wasn't as crazy productive as I thought. Only one pick. And I think that one might have been against Peyton Manning, but his ball skills are pretty, pretty solid. 68 catch, uh, a little, a little low in my opinion. But Leon Hallman, looking cool, not too shabby. Great speed, solid zone. Most people run zone, so he's, he's cool, he's cool. Now lastly, Damon Harrison, and honestly, I gotta be honest, I'm not familiar with this guy. I don't know who he is. I'm expecting good speed, though. This is the time of year where every detail has like 75, 80 speed, so I'm expecting some good speed out of this guy. Check the stats, oh, 70 speed. Kind of slow, great block shed though, woo! 97 block shed, 97 tackle, 93 power move, and 70 speed. Once again, final addition. For a player with over 50 total tackles, Harrison led the NFL with only one missed tackle. Okay, he's a sure tackler. That's why I got the 97 tackle rating. Now this guy is a little on the slow end and probably won't be too effective when it comes to the passing game, but block shedding, that's all about the run game, getting off blocks, great block shed, Great tackle. His pursuit's good, two out of 93. He's gonna be a beast when it comes to stopping the run, in my opinion, with the block shed pursuit tackle combination. Now, finally, Devin McCourty, 96 overall. He is the award you get for knocking out the set. Check the stats, 5'10". 95 speed, 92, man, whoo, great coverage. Great coverage, safety, 98 zone, 90 play rate, and 85 pursuit. Final edition led the Patriots in picks and allowed only 15 catches in his zone all season. Now, guys, this card, I like this card, but this card, to me, if I got it, I'd do something different with it. I'd probably run it, honestly, at cornerback simply because he has great coverage stats, solid hit power at an 86, and his block shed is a 74, which would be great at the cornerback position. So, honestly, if I got this card, I'd probably try it out at cornerback number two. Cornerback number three, see what it can do in the run game. Not really too interested when it comes to, you know, having this guy be the third level of my defense because he's not really a protector. Doesn't really lay the boom. Great in coverage, so why not put him at cornerback, use that block shit, get him a good matchup, and let him go to work there. But Devin McCarty, man, once again, looking looking solid, looking great. 96 overall final edition. Now, it's only right new final editions are out. Time to hop into these packs. Not touching all pro packs, by the way. Those all pro, all Madden packs. I forget which one they are. Pretty, pretty bad, so I'm not going to touch those. We're gonna scroll through the pro packs. Michael Crabtree from Dallas, a Dallas product. I think I think he's a free agent this offseason. I might be wrong. If Crabtree goes to the right team, I think he's gonna be a great pickup. I think he's gonna have a great bounce back season. I could be wrong though. He might have one more year in San Fran, but I think I think he might be up for grabs very soon. Matt Ryan, Falcons let go. Steven Jackson let go. Harry Douglas might be trying to make some room for DeMarco. I don't know, but they're definitely trying to make some moves, shake things up, make things a little bit easier on Matty Ice. See what's going on in this pack. Malcolm Jenkins. Did he get released to Matt? Yo, the Eagles, the Eagles are crazy. They let go of Shady McCoy. They let go of Trick Cole. Picked up Kiko Alonzo. They, they're making some moves. Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly has a master plan, man. Now, if I was the Eagles fan, I'd be pissed. But from the outside looking in, man, I'm just trusting Chip. I know he's going to do something cool. Oh, look at this. 
RG3 Brown Jump, hopefully that sells. But yeah, pretty much, man. Trust and chip, that's all you can do, especially if you're an Eagles fan. I'm interested in seeing what he's going to try to pull off. I, I think it'll be something cool. He, he's not going to mess things up. And then the Bills, the Bills got a steal, man. This season without Kiko, the Bills had a top defense, so pretty much they traded away a player they didn't use. I saw this on Twitter, by the way, and, and it made so much sense, but they traded away a player they didn't use, so they're keeping a top defense to get a top running back, and Shady McCoy, who probably has two or three good years left in him. So that was a great trade for the Bills. Eagles, not so much, I don't think, at least not right now, but we'll see who they get in that backfield. Got a Leon Hall. I was just talking about him, one of my favorite cornerbacks. I just showed you his stats. Here's a quick glance if you missed it or if you forgot. 5'11", 93 speed, 94 zone, and 92 press. Leon Hall, final edition now, take it. First elite of the pack, well, first elite player. I got the RG3 collectible, but that doesn't really count. That's, that's not a player. Chad Greenway. Ooh, is this the last pack? No, it's not. We got a few more, I think. AJ Klein, Doug Maroney, Eagles away. Vikings defense. Elite players, no. Got a DJ Fluker. Alabama product. Since we're getting all this Eagles love, man, in the comments, let me know what you think about the McCoy trade. Do you think they're trying to make a run at Mariota? Do you think that would be a good idea? Eagles fans especially, man. Tweet me on Twitter. Tweet me on Twitter. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about the trade. Because to me, that, that would be like the Cowboys trading away. A franchise piece, like doing something crazy with Dez, which they kind of are, because a team could offer Dez. A team could offer Dez, and the Cowboys would have to match that, or Dez could leave, which is kind of crazy, because Dez, Dez is the best player on that team, hands down. He's the leader of the offense. He's probably, in my opinion, the biggest piece to the offense, you know, so that's kind of crazy. But yeah, man, franchise player, in my opinion, like LaShawn McCoy, I think he was just what the rushing champ a season ago, had another great season with 1,300 yards, I think with five touchdowns. It's crazy, man, it really is. And there you have it, hope you guys enjoyed it, man. The final editions are out, talking some football, talking some Eagles, chilling, gameplay, man, if we're lucky, I'm gonna try to get it out later tonight. It might be a little late, my apologies. I know I've been posting the gameplay really late, but my schedule been kinda crazy, but I'm definitely gonna try to get some gameplay out tonight and tomorrow, probably gonna try to stream too. But yeah, there you have it, hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one, peace. <laughs>